Hey guys, Jim Grant here for Ammo Land TV, and we are back again for the final day of SHOT Show 2022. So we've got another five badass products to show you guys that we saw and thought were particularly cool. So what are they? Well, the first one is the FN Ivalice, and unfortunately, it is not a civilian legal weapon. Not yet, at least. It is their new ultra lightweight LMG. Now we saw a little bit of this last year, just prior to when SHOT Show should have happened, but it was at this shot show we finally got to see one in person. And it's a pretty cool little gun. The Ivalice is a belt fed, select fire, light machine gun chambered in both 5.56 and 7.62 NATO. The barrel is free floated. It features a monolithic rail, which appears to be made of extruded aluminum or titanium, and a bipod again, which because of the free floated rail does not affect the zero or accuracy of the weapon. All the controls appear to be AR-15 inspired and the stock is very clearly the infamous SCAR boot. So why should you care? Well, because the majority of civilian products in the firearms world, at least ones that are uh, even tangentially related to military firearms generally precede advancements in military technology it's a really cool thing for us to get a chance to look at something like this in the flesh, so to speak, prior to it being formally adopted, if it gets formally adopted. As far as MSRP and availability, who knows? And I would guess that weapon probably is gonna run our military if we buy them, probably $20,000 per unit, hopefully less. And anyway, that brings us to number two, the Browning T-Bolt. Now, at first glance, I was like, eh, it's a, it's a Browning kind of traditional looking rifle, who cares? Well, it's actually pretty darn cool. The new T-Bolt is a straight pull, bolt action firearm chambered in 22 long rifle, 22 Winchester Magnum, and 17 HMR. The barrel is free floated, heavy profile, and features an integral compensator. Well, except it's not integral. The barrel is threaded. That's right, a Browning factory gun that looks like a traditional hunting rifle that is designed from inception to be utilized with a sound suppressor. That in and of itself is pretty huge news. As far as pricing and availability, it should be available soon and the T-Bolt will retail between $715 and $735. And that brings us to number three, the Strebog SP9A3G. The G stands for Glock. So if you're not familiar with the Strebog series of large format pistols, SBRs and pistol caliber carbines, they are essentially a very simplified extruded aluminum 9mm pseudo subgun. And they're based heavily upon the select fire military models currently being used by various armed forces. Now, traditionally, all these Strebog carbines, pistols, etc., have utilized a proprietary magazine. Yes, there have been aftermarket lowers that allowed it to take other magazines, but now we have a factory Glock compatible lower. Now, personally, I think it ruins the aesthetics. However, I cannot debate that the utility of being able to take Glock mags is tremendous. This will allow shooters to have their favorite Glock 19, Glock 17, whatever, and have it share magazines with a larger, easier to aim, a little more accurate Strebog. Now, in terms of pricing and availability, we heard from SHOT Show 2022, it should be available the end of first quarter this year, and as far as MSRP, is rumored to be basically the same as the standard SP9A3. That brings us to number four. We're back at Crimson Trace. Now, Crimson Trace has been making lasers and lights for a long time, and most recently, a few videos back, we saw they introduced a new optic, and that's very, very cool. But this latest product actually goes back to their roots. It is a combination angled foregrip and tactical light called the RIG. The rig utilizes these self-contained rechargeable battery packs, includes two in the box, and produces 500 lumens from its emitter. It'll retail for $174.99, oddly enough, and will be available in spring of 2022. Very cool and awesome for those not rifles and pistols, whatever, that you can't have a vertical grip on and you want some sort of extra control, but you don't have a ton of rail real estate and want to put a light on there. Very neat, for sure. And that brings us lastly to probably my favorite product of SHOT Show 2022. And lastly, that brings us to number five, the Springfield Hellion. Yes, this is a civilian version of the Croatian VHS-2. That is the current select fire assault rifle being issued to Croatian military forces right now. Now, this is not exactly how the gun ships. The optic and the illuminator plus the Purst 4 IR laser are not included, sadly, but the weapon still has a lot of tremendously cool features. And don't worry, we're gonna have a very, very thorough review coming out very, very soon. But I would say arguably, this was my favorite product 
to be released of 2022's SHOT Show. Uh, I never thought I would ever actually see one stateside. So as a uh, gun hipster who likes stuff that you wouldn't get that I was into way before you, it's awesome to finally see this thing in the flesh. I mean, I, I was gonna be surprised if we ever even saw an airsoft copy or even a conversion for like a Keltec RFB. Now this weapon does use Stanag magazines as opposed to the original, which uses a modified version of a G36, and it ships with one 30 round P mag in the box. MSRP on the Hellion is $2,000 and availability as well, it's basically right now. They're heading to store shelves as we speak. Anyway, that wraps it up for SHOT Show 2022. For Ammo Land TV, I'm Jim Grant. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell up top left. And as always, for Ammo Land TV, I'm Jim Grant, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.